Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something shaked. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. Because I'm the hurt child. Became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more, started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel light. Like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. Hello? Hello. Welcome back. Hi, James. How you doing? Uh, so tender. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, um, just been triggered a lot lately, which has been hard because I feel like, um, I, um, had a, I don't know if it was exactly, um, an unburdening, but it was definitely like an integration of a part of me that feels unacceptable for just even having feelings mm -hmm. in my therapy my other uh, therapy sessions, I had a really powerful kind of re-embracing of that part in a way that felt like it alleviated a lot for me. And I had a couple of weeks where I felt really solid and safe with myself and safe in the world and was feeling really good. And then the last few days, there's just been a lot indicating that, you know, that there are like two other aspects to this that that are really still very much in need of help and getting pinged everywhere. Not everywhere, that's mm. right, but like just uh, had a, a tough time earlier this week with a friend in a conversation and then last night had a really tough time in a conversation with my boyfriend and yeah, just feeling really tender about it all yeah upset okay so like um the two things that i'm really aware of is part that gets really freaked out when I used to think it was about like i'm being misunderstood but it's not it's more specific than that it's a sense that i'm not I'm being misunderstood and the person isn't trying to understand like they gave up they decided they already knew and they are not mm -hmm. they're no longer trying to understand me mm -hmm. and um there's like a deep intense panic that comes with that and then there's also a part that gets really sullen and shut down when it feels like you know nothing is good enough no matter how hard i try mm -hmm. um both of those got super pinged Last night. Okay. And so I don't 
not exactly sure to start. I appreciate the time you put in leading into this to try to address whatever protectors might be kind of worried about the conversation. Yeah, you too. But right now I'm just mostly aware of how just, yeah, just like upset and tender I feel. Very like wounded, hurt, sad. Okay. Do you need a your minute? I don't. Would you like it? I don't think so. Okay. So hurt, tender, sad, wounded. Yeah. Not knowing where to start. A little bit, yeah. Just with that, like that's all I can, I can only start with that, I guess. Okay. I don't know which, which part that is. Hmm. It's all kind of mixed up together. <sighs> Would it be? I guess it's a part that just doesn't want to be in this anymore. Like just doesn't want to be. Mm-hmm. Dealing with this. So dealing with (sighs) the, just that hurt and that feeling like not knowing how to go there? Dealing with the the hurt, the reactivity. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, I just want to be better. (laughs) And I'm tired of being in pain. It's hard to feel better for a while and then yeah. be so hurt again. Yeah. That all makes sense to me. To not see a way out. You know, I mean, I know intellectually what the way out is. I understand this model, but I just feel so stuck. Yeah. Um. How is when you say you know the way out and your your confidence in this model? Like how confident are you in the model? I'm confident in the model. I'm very confident in the model. What I've been experiencing is that you know, I've been trying to turn towards the two versions of hurt and upset that I've noticed. And I just um, keep hitting kind of a wall. You know, I get so far, I, you know, there's a relationship with those parts and there's compassion and there's like availability. Like when, they, mm-hmm. when it comes up, I turn towards and I express genuine felt interest and receptiveness to the experience that the parts are having. Mm-hmm. And then I guess, you know, maybe there's that one that wants to help them. It comes in and I don't know how to do it. So, Mm -hmm. Um, but the the parts don't seem to be leading me in that direction either, what they need from me. So I just kind of keep building the relationship, you know, I just kind of keep turning towards whenever there's activation, but it's like, okay, I listen, I care. I seem to get it. I think they well no it's not that they it's not that I get that's the thing is like I I don't quite get it and they're not there's a way in which uh I I'm inviting clarity and then either nothing comes or I can't I lose it like I can't follow or stay connected to it somehow okay does that make sense yeah, it's well, let me see if it makes sense. Um, so the parts come up, you have some relationship with them, you uh, receive them, express interest and receptiveness, and invite clarity. But even doing that, you just feel like you're, you're maybe not making progress or not understanding what it is that you can do for them or how to do it. Or you're losing connection with them when the wall comes up. 
Yeah, something like that. It just, um, like the sense I have is maybe, I don't want to say that they don't trust me yet with it. It might be that. It might be that it just wants company, which is why I reach out for the session. Mm -hmm. Because there's a sense that maybe it's just one of those things that wants company. Um, You know, I mean, I've heard you even acknowledge in some recent session with somebody that sometimes you, you know, you just can't go to those places alone, you know. Um, Yeah, it can be hard. So... It's something like that. It just feels like it gets to a certain point and then there's just a way in which it doesn't feel ready to go forward with just me as it stands. Mm -hmm. So that could be, like you said, yeah, the parts, the parts have their hesitation, their reservation for whatever reason. And it could also be, you know, whatever, however you're showing up, if it's, if you're showing up in self energy, or if you're showing up with other, you know, parts or, yeah, or how that's showing up. So this could be two avenues that we look at to just check them out. Yeah. And I think the target I mean, they both want my attention, but I think the target that feels more alive for me is the one who panics when doesn't feel like the other person's even really trying to understand me. Mm -hmm. Um, But I'm pretty aware, you know, uh, clearly our interactions leading up to this indicate that there's a part that's, there's a protector standing by who may not, may not, feel comfortable with me having access yeah. to that right now. Yes. I'm welcoming that protector. <laughs> yeah, you did. You were very nice to that one. <laughs> um, just before we move off, if it's all right, there was yeah. something you said about, you talked about how you show up for the parts and having interest in receptiveness and I'm wondering if you, it just seems like a something we could kind of check quickly of when you think back to those times when you're showing up for those parts, is that, is that self energy? Is that, or what degree do you feel like you're in self energy when you're doing that curious, compassionate, connective, creative, courageous, confident? I mean, it varies. I, you know, I'm definitely aware of part of that kind of muscular figured out part that wants to figure them out because they're not very verbal. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'll have to kind of ask that one to give me space pretty often. And yeah, the one who wants to help, you know, comes in, but there's definitely sustained moments where I'm just like, you know, there's a process of kind of reflecting what I think I'm getting from them and just checking in if I'm getting it right. Mm Mm-hmm. And then I can kind of tell when I get it right. There's just a sense of like emotional release or Mm -hmm. relief that comes with those moments when I seem to be getting it. Mm -hmm. And then there's a place where I'm like, okay, this is where I don't quite understand yet. And I think I'm saying that with clarity, but maybe a panic comes in about that. Maybe the one who wants to help. Uh, or the, you know, that I can't figure it out. Both those parts may be getting activated by that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And like you said, it's, it's largely or all like nonverbal from this part. So that has, that's more of a challenge to decipher what's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All these young parts, right? The one who felt unacceptable for even feeling anything. And then, uh, which I I had, you know, some progress with, but then the one who shuts down and the one who gets super panicked, both are 
seem really, really young and not very verbal. And so, yeah, there is always this kind of difficulty in making sense out of what's coming. And it does, that definitely activates like a tendency to want to figure out, figure those parts out so that I can help them, you know. Yeah, which, you know, makes sense. Like we are trying to help parts, so it's kind of tricky to to distinguish that from a caretaker that's trying to help parts or a part that's trying to help parts. Right. What, what, and I think I am yeah. aware of that difference. That's the good news is like, I think I can tell when that's coming in, but I can't seem to break the pattern of that. Mm -hmm. I'll tell it to go to the waiting room and come back to the part and just find that the whole thing is I've lost contact somehow. Okay. So what feels right? Should we keep talking about it or should we work on making contact with this part that panics? Um, I, I want to try to make contact. I'm already nervous that I won't be able to, but I would like, I mean, that's what I'd like to have happen. Mm -hmm. Should we check in with the nervous part? Yeah, it, it ties into the other thing of like not, you know, trying so hard, not good enough. You know, like I, the thing that should be happening is that I make contact and I'm failing to do that. I don't want to fail at it. Hmm. Well, we can welcome that part. I mean, that sounds difficult. It sounds tough. And it also sounds like, um, I mean, totally reasonable that if you're in this place of feeling like it's not possible for you, it's just failing, that's definitely something you'd want to be alerted to. How do you feel towards the nervous part? Uh, pretty neutral. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Not how. And how does it feel about letting you go and and giving you space? Uh, well, the sense that I have in response to that is that it doesn't know how to give me space, which doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, it seems like a basic thing that parts know how to do. Um, so it's kind of strange to me that the response was kind of like, well, how do I do that? Yeah, maybe we can, maybe there, you know, maybe there have been ways and maybe there's more, more efficient ways or other ways that would work for this part. Oh, I'm getting kind of um, jumbled in there, just kind of losing the thread. Okay. So this nervous part was concerned about you, what it would mean if you were not able to do this, if you were not able to, if you were to fail. And when you were asking about how it feels about giving you space to try, then it's saying it doesn't know how. It doesn't feel like it knows how. Yeah, and then I, I just feel disconnected from that. It's just like there's a parade of, parade of protectors coming in. It's kind of one after the other. There's just a lot of interest in my not walking purposely towards this. Like when I get triggered by it, it's perfectly happy to take over, but there really is a lot of kind of felt resistance in my whole system towards the idea of purposely walking towards that panic. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Yeah, it makes sense. But of course, 
it is frustrating to some part of me. Sure, sure. Well, maybe we should just take note of them. Welcome to the part that's frustrated by it. Welcome the parade of protectors. They all have their positive intent. They've all served valuable roles at some point. Yeah, and when I kind of just ask, I throw it out to the system, like what happens if I connect with this? What happens if I do it on purpose? There isn't really a clear answer to that. Just some... Overall commotion. Just an overall sense of, I don't want to. <laughs> just just right. don't want to. <laughs> right. It's that simple. Don't, don't want to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, on its face, I can certainly understand a couple of reasons why I might not want to, but I don't, I don't know what happens if we do. I don't know what actually is being protected here. I mean, there's not a lot of information forthcoming. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm remembering that, you know, other times when you and I've had sessions and we just hang out in the stuck place, mm-hmm. it feels like nothing's happening, but usually that leads to some breakthrough eventually. Like I, I recognize the value in just kind of being here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's like, there's the discomfort of going to the exile, going to the panic. And then there's just kind of this, the discomfort, if you will, of just Acknowledging the discomfort and being with these parts, these protectors, and that can be essential and it can be kind of a, a warm up, a way to build trust with them. Right. Show them that you're okay with how they're being and you can be that same way with an exile. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to access enough self to be okay with how they're being. It's hard. It's hard. It's, it's hard. It's frustrating. Yeah. So the main, yeah. So the main, the main block there is the frustration. You've been here before. It doesn't, it's, it's, you've put a lot of energy into this. Feels like failing, right? Yeah, it feels like stuck and failing and there's a lot of urgency to heal because I'm so tired of being in this pain. And, you know, there's even an element of like wasting your time and there's an element of, and I know, you know, I'm perfectly aware we don't have to post this, but an element of like something about the the, ta- the taping and the posting of it. Mm-hmm. There's just a lot of ways in which it feels like really frustrating to not quote unquote, get somewhere with this. And then again, you know, the reminder that this is getting somewhere. This is part of the process. Um, Rational, very. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't really change how frustrating it feels. Right. And it's recursive, right? Because I'm aware, because I understand the model that the more frustrated this part is with the the other protectors, the more stuck I am. So then it's like frustration with the frustration. It just is, you know, that's a serpent eating its tail right there. Mm -hmm. I might suggest that the more blended with you this part is, then, yeah, then the serpent in the tail. The, The part itself has its frustration and some, some degree of that is fine, you know? If it's, if it's willing to give you space, these parts can have their, their opinions. They can, they can fight each other and dislike each other. And that's fine. As long as you're able to. Yeah. As long as the frustration can make some space for self Mm -hmm. to like be fine with it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know why that I'm not. Okay. So let me check in with the frustrated part, why it's struggling to give me that space. (laughs) God, I am. Just 
feel so stonewalled by all my parts right now. Okay. I ask them these questions and there's just nothing in response. How do you notice the frustration in your body? Um, there's a little bit of like, it's pretty mild, but it's like, it's just a slight tensing. So it's like, I, I, I'll stop breathing for a second. There's just a little mm-hmm. constriction. I'm like, uh. and it, it's pretty everywhere. Like it's not necessarily centralized in one place, mm-hmm. but I definitely am aware of the, the breath getting halted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels like if I go, okay, what happens if I breathe? It's like the answer is something about, well, then you're just allowing it to be like this. It's like, okay. What if I allow it to be like this? And we're not getting anywhere. If you breathe, you're allowing it to be like this. You're yeah. allowing it to have to be in its constricted, frustrated way. No, if I if I loosen the constriction and breathe, mm. then I'm like allowing everything to be just stuck. Which is true. Like that's the point is the idea of kind of embracing the protectors. Mm-hmm. They just don't they don't want to do it right now. They don't feel safe for whatever reason. Right. Right. And so so, so I say, you know, okay, so what's the problem with allowing? it to be a little stuck right now. And then it says, you know, well, then we're not getting anywhere. Yeah, that's true. We're not. Okay. Well then, you know, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Why are we here? What are we doing? I don't feel that way. No, no, no. I do. That's the part. Yes. Yeah. So the frustration, the feeling like we're not getting anywhere, if we allow the frustration, if we allow the tension, if we allow the frustration, we won't get anywhere. What are we doing? Um, not quite. If we, if, if the, if, if I, I'm asking the frustration, what happens if it loosens up and just mm-hmm. allows the stuckness and, and isn't so frustrated about the stuckness of the other protectors, not itself. Mm-hmm. And then it's saying, well, then we're just accepting that we're stuck and we're not getting anywhere. And then what are we doing? Yeah. And what's its alternative? <laughs> I mean, I know that there kind of isn't one, like that the only alternative yeah, just, is to just stay frustrated with it, you know? Yeah. Well, I just want to know, like, yeah, what it, how it sees... Yeah. How it sees yeah. its job accomplishing what? To get me to just like push past all that and make, make it happen. Right. Have you tried that? Yeah. I mean, I certainly have in my life. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm kind of letting it, reminding it how that goes, that there's a backlash to that. It's just better to earn the trust of everybody in here. Yeah, it's slower. But and and how would that and how would this frustrated part feel if if you started with it and if it could trust you? How would it feel if it could trust you? It's a good question. It's a it's just considering the idea of trusting me before it can consider how that would feel. It has to kind of just take in that as an idea. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll admit like, again, you know, if I had to, it's impossible to quantify, but if I had to try to quantify how much self I've got going, it's not, eh, it's like 50. It's pretty, it's pretty wavery. Okay. So I can appreciate why it's like, trust you. Who am I trusting right now? Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate And I appreciate your, uh, giving me a number there. That's, that's super helpful. 
mean, I don't even know if that's right, but there's just this sense of like, uh, I'm, I'm kind of tentatively or tenuously holding on to self. So I yeah. feel fully grounded enough in it for this part to, I can appreciate why I wouldn't trust. Yeah. Let it know that. Yeah. And we skipped a question. Yeah. How are you feeling towards this part? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's hard, right? Because that's the thing is like, I, I, it's, it's frustration. I can then feel towards it, you know, it's hard to unblend from all that. Right. I mean, I certainly appreciate the frustration. I appreciate the frustration. I do. Do you? And, yeah, absolutely. Does it receive that? Can you show it that? It's kind of like, well, do you? Because if you did, wouldn't you be fucking doing something <laughs> about this? You know, like, uh, it just doing sees that the about... only, like, the only answer is to just push through whatever else is going on and make shit happen out of sure determination. You know, mm-hmm. and if I really understood how frustrating it was, I would just do that. You know, uh, and that sort of makes sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's frustrated we're even wasting time talking to it. <laughs> I get it's that. Like, oh, why are we even talking to me? Like, oh, this whole session's going to be about me. I don't fucking. <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> Waste of fucking time. Yeah. And do you, do you have a response for that? Oh. I mean, I, I certainly get it. it's very consistent for it to feel that way. I appreciate that it even, you know, even it's even feels that way about itself. You know, I could, I totally get that and appreciate the consistency. Um, you know, but saying to this part, you, you know, you're the one who's got my attention right now. Right. You also mentioned that you felt like your self energy was wavering. It might've been a little low. So you, you, you've had the experience of, of pushing past and having the backlash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So those are all great reasons to keep getting to know this part that you have closest. Yeah. And it's not just getting to know it academically, right? This is getting to know it is, is unblending, is accessing self. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of just practicing on this part right now. Right. <laughs> I need the practice. Thanks. That's right. Thank you, yeah. frustrated part, for giving me an opportunity to practice. Right. It is totally annoyed with that. <laughs> mm, what would it rather be doing if it didn't have to work so hard in this way? Well, like a lot of my protectors, the sense is, is that it, it doesn't mind its job, you know, like it, 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 it likes in a sense, motivating me to take on challenges or not let, you know, not override fear, but, mm-hmm. you know, motivate me even yeah. if parts are, are fearful or whatever, but it just, uh, I mean, it, I, I guess I know that it wishes it didn't have to be so forceful and driven by frustration, right? Like more just, uh, Mm -hmm. I guess, courageous and encouraging and, and yeah, mobilizing to push, push through stuff, but not, but not in this kind of way. way. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you can just 
sit with that for a moment. Just enjoy kind of visualizing that or, or letting it show you more about what that would look like. Yeah, I mean, my immediate response was that, you know, I would like that. I would like to have a sense of being motivated by something other than pure frustration and yeah. determination, you know. Yeah, I imagine that would feel better. I wonder if it would also be more efficient, be more, would make you more powerful, would make you more able to do what you're, do what you're after. Yeah. For sure, but then it's back to pointing at all these other protectors, all these other parts. Like I can't do that because, yeah, it's constantly having to push past all of these guys. It's a parade of right. ones who will let me do what I got to do. Right. It's having to because it's pushing you. So it's it's having to do the push because it doesn't trust you to handle it. Yeah, I guess not. Check that out with it. Well, again, it's like, you know, when you make first contact, it's like, well, I mean, who are you? Like, would it trust you? Like, you know, it's kind of still, it's going to take a minute, especially yeah. since I'm still not clear on how much self I have going. But I am, you know, I'm definitely sitting in a moment of appreciation for, like I'm starting to kind of have these vague memories of all the times, all the places in which I'm, I am pushing past a bunch of other shit to, to do what I, what's important. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm, I am really grateful that I've been able to do that in some of these places. Right. Yeah. It's gotten me, it's gotten me pretty far. Yeah. Um, and I think we both wish it didn't have to do that push. Right. You know, but it, uh, there's definitely been times when nothing, the important thing wouldn't have happened if I wasn't being pushed by this. Yeah. Makes sense. And how old does it think that you are? Um, I, th I think I heard 18, which kind of makes sense. Like, um, something about heading into college. Yeah. Had to increase the pushing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, not that I'd never done things that I was scared to do or push past some nervousness or whatever in my, in before that, but there was definitely like a, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to move my feet at all if this part hadn't kicked in and just made me do things. Starting about then. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. Yeah. But if I update it on my age, mm -hmm. if I update on my age, it's like, well, yeah, I, and I got you here. You know, like everything I've accomplished, everything I've done, you know, everything about the life I've been able to build, this part is taking full credit and deservedly so, actually, you know. Right. Yeah. yeah. And is it but taking credit for the, for the disappointment? For the uh, I'm sorry, failures. I don't know what you mean. For the failures? Mm -hmm. Does it take credit for the failures? Mm -hmm. uh, no, no. It, it it doesn't tend to f no. No. If I if it pushes me to do something and there's a failure, th it this is not the part that cares about that. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's, this is the part it's like, well, he fucking did it. And he did something. Yeah. Pull the right. pin, run away. Something will happen. 
you know, and most of the time when it, this part has pushed me to make things happen, it's, you know, been for the better in a fundamental way, like better than not having done it. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. And so it's not really comfortable just... with letting things happen then. Right. Right. Yeah. And it's also not comfortable. There's also that acknowledged discomfort of the way, the way the interaction, the relationship is now. And that it could be easier. Yeah. That it doesn't like that it has to push so hard. It wishes it didn't have to. Yeah. It's pretty clear that it feels that it has to with all of the things that stand in the way all the time. Which I get. Can you say that again? It's clear that it has to? For it, for the part, it's clear that it does right. have to push with all the things and all the other parts standing in the way, which totally makes right. sense to me. I mean, that's true in a way, right? Like there really are a lot of other parts that resist taking steps, taking risks. And um, I can and really appreciate way, why it feels like it has to, you know, that the only way to do it is to fucking just push past all that. Right. And it's not really sure I've ever done anything worthwhile without it, you know? So the idea of standing down and like allowing nothing to happen here. Right. Where, you know, from that as, the, as the only alternative. It's yeah. do nothing, do nothing or grit your teeth, push through, yeah. push past. Yeah. Right. And I'm just a little bit too blended to see, like, I could really go to my thinky parts and find the rational understanding that that's not true. But like, mm -hmm. I'm definitely a little too blended with this part to really have contact with an alternative either. Like, I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> even though I know that's not right. Yeah, I mean, maybe I can be that witness. Oh, yeah, that's that's part of why you're here for sure. <laughs> I can I can be the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No, I mean the truth is you and I both know, right, that there is another way. That there's another way and that you've put those other ways to use. I put it to use with my, my clients when I'm, when I'm the practitioner, mm -hmm. but it's a little hard pressed to agree that I've been putting it to use with myself all that much. Okay. And all right, maybe maybe shifting from your track record, right? <laughs> um, is there like what is its uh, perspective on its utility, its effectiveness in your parts work specifically? Well, it keeps bringing up a memory of the one of the biggest breakthroughs I've had. Mm -hmm. which was because of it. Mm -hmm. um, before I discovered IFS, when I first, not first started doing therapy with my current therapist, but along the way, I had been working with this therapist for a while. I had an incident with my boyfriend where I just really became very clear about how my reactivity was causing harm in a way that was unacceptable to me. And I was just super determined to make contact with whatever I needed to make contact with and move through whatever unmetabolized feeling was there that might help alleviate the reactivity in that place. And so I went into my next therapy session, like determined and I fucking did it. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> I did. So yeah. And, and, and there was a breakthrough. Okay. There was a breakthrough. I'm pretty this is sure all there was a backlash. IFS? Yeah, before I okay. yeah. Breakthrough, backlash, 
I, I, you know, I don't have without, much. Without the IFS language, you weren't, you didn't build a relationship with a part, right? So. Correct. And I'm not saying that means it didn't work or whatever. I'm just, it's outside of my, of my wheelhouse of understanding. Well, there was a breakthrough in, like I said, kind of metabolizing a piece of a big mountain of emotion that I had never really moved through fully before. Mm -hmm. And there was a, there was, um, some healing in the responsiveness of the therapist and the sense of being fully gotten and empathized with in that place was kind of healing. It was very validating. Um, so it was a breakthrough in that The healing came from the therapist? Um, healing came from metabolizing the feeling, letting it move through me, letting it complete a cycle, uh, like an arc of feeling, not getting stuck in it and suppressing it, but actually moving through it, which developed some trust that I could do that. Right. So that's okay. the self to part relationship. I wouldn't have coined it that way, but like right. there was an experience of, oh, I can complete a feeling <laughs> and not get stuck. Yeah. And it's, and I will come to the other side and it will be okay. And then there was something, yeah, there was something healing in being witnessed by another with uh, compassion and mm -hmm. uh, understanding. Um, okay. So we're recognizing so, the frustrations role in getting you to that therapist, for example, in, in recognize in pushing through the difficulty of, of facing that, you know, whatever that issue was. Yeah. A pushing through, like in the moment when I normally would have shut down the feeling right. that was coming up in session, this part right. just pushed whatever was happening aside and like made way for this big wave of feeling to come, mm -hmm. you know, was just determined to feel it. We're going right. to feel it. it. It said, it said earlier that that was, that's what it thinks you are without it is just shut down is do nothing. That's the, that's the world it lives in. When it, um, not all the time. Okay. But, but in like key important moments when there's a lot of fear, right? Or a lot yeah. of anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's helpful yeah. to know too that, you know, maybe that's another, another angle is, when we're kind of envisioning what it could look like, what it could look like if this part wasn't working so hard, maybe there's this other fear and anxiety that's requiring it to be pushed through. And maybe that is also something that self could help relax, alleviate and make, make way for, you know, other, other modes, other ways of, of showing up, of working with parts, whatever. Yeah. Well, yeah. And we're just back to that understanding that it doesn't quite yet trust me to help whatever other protectors, including anxious ones. Yeah. I mean, most, most of them are pretty anxious. Um, right. Okay. And so if you could, like if you did, even if you, let's say, let's say right now we switched and we went and met an anxious protector and you were able to help it 5%, would that translate back to this part in any way with that with this part say oh okay like would that be valuable yeah right if the anxiety if the anxious parts weren't so it's only pushing with the commiserate force of the against the anxiety against which it has to push right so like right if the anxiety is five percent less then it gets to push with five percent less force yeah so is it like does that sound like a a worthy experiment for it? Does it have any trust in, in, in at least that hypothesis? <laughs> yeah. At least the hypothesis, that logic makes sense to the part. Yes. All right. I like this part. Uh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, like um, I said, I, experiencing and I am trying to communicate to a, a deep appreciation. And I, it's not the first time that I've had appreciation for this. Like I've definitely thought recently, many times I've looked around me at what I have built in the last few years 
And, and I have said, wow, thank God I have this part, like pushing this me is through the house anxiety. That frustration built. What's that? So this is the house that frustration built. <laughs> Sorry. I'm yeah. Teasing. Or just, yeah, no, totally. Or just that, that, de- or, fr- or determination, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, well, that's, and that's that motivating. That's the positive. That's its positive intent is it's a motivator, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, and I keep getting, it keeps reminding me that I keep getting up on a stage and trying to sing, even though I almost never sing as well as I would like to, and always descend into a deep shame of failure afterwards. And then I don't want to sing again in public. And then this part goes, no, you're fucking doing it. Get up there and do the thing. Mm -hmm. And I am glad that it keeps doing that. There are definitely times when I'm like, please just leave me alone. Yeah. why why do I have to you know well because you want to you do actually want to do I I don't know because all I'm feeling right now is this sense of determination that I'm not sure is love you know but okay right. here we go you know yeah so that I'm aware Who of the, I have been aware of this ongoing relationship with this part and there's been a lot of appreciation for it uh on and off but I'm I'm deepening that in this hour And yeah, hopefully kind of helping it see the possibility that it it may not have to push so hard if I could just get direct access to those anxious protectors and help them. Sounds like a plan. Yep. It is, of course, still frustrated that we, (laughs) that I came into the session, it's so so much pain and that we haven't really been able to do anything for that. Yeah. And you know, yeah, that's hard. That is hard. It is hard. But I appreciate your help slowing down and just being uh, with this in a way that I think is, you know, good IFS and therefore worthwhile. Smiling. (laughs) (laughs) Good. Um, There's one thing I kind of wanted to circle back to. Totally up to you to spend any time there. But Mm. when this part mentioned that it thought you were 18. Yeah. Is there more to investigate there, to bookmark, to learn about that experience? Mm. Is there there an 18-year-old in there that... that, um, also needs your attention. Hmm, that's a really good question. There's some emotion that comes up when you ask the question, so I think there's got to be something there, but it's not it's not clear, and I don't I don't really want to open that can of worms, but I think it is worth book, bookmarking. Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, that was a. You know, it was also difficult because of the fundamental, you know, infant injury that just underlies everything. Right. But as soon as I want to say that that was a particularly difficult time, like other parts are like, uh, really, was it particularly difficult? (laughs) Um, Mm -hmm. But there was something like relentless about, you know, the, the, the pushing the determination to get up every day and do what had to be done. Um, and again, as soon as I say that, it's like, no, that's been there the whole time. But yeah, I, I you know, there it seems worth circling back to that at some yeah, point. It came up it came up for a reason and it seemed particular enough for this part to Yeah. To throw that out first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give that so, some ongoing thought, I guess. Or yeah, and I'll make consideration. a consideration. Um, okay. So it sounds like just kind of summarizing. Yeah. There's this frustration part. It's frustrated about all these other protectors, about your ability or your lack of ability to, to go and and heal these exiles. It doesn't have trust for you in doing that. And it's main, uh, dynamic that the parts that it's pushing against are actually uh, anxious protectors 
it feels like if you're anxious, then you don't get anything done. You you don't you don't do the hard thing, and that it shows up to help. So if you were able to go to the protectors with the anxiety, then hypothetically, it <laughs> could relax some, mm-hmm. and and it sees that as a as a reasonable experiment, a reasonable way forward. Is there anything else that it that it's suggesting or or would like to see from you? Well, it just agrees that 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 my sense of self with certain parts is a bit wavery. And it's like, well, you know, you gotta do something about that. Right. <laughs> That's a problem. It mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. It's a problem of blendedness. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, which you know begs cooperation from the parts to to give me some space to to to, and you know I, I totally get that each part needs a moment to orient towards that, as an even right. a thing. You know this part as even a thing exactly took a second. As who the to hell even are you? Like, yeah. Right. Right. Why am I giving you space? What does it mean yeah. even to give you space? Right. Who the hell are you? What right. space am I giving to what? Who? Right. <laughs> All that. So, you know, every time encountering a new part in terms of like direct actual contact, yeah, there is a wavery, like negotiation of that. Right. And uh, that's just what it is. And, you know, none of these parts have trust in my ability to do it with any kind of consistency because, I mean, it's very circular again. None of them have that trust, so none of them are doing it. <laughs> you know, all right, well, we'll just hang out there until something happens. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I don't know if and, what I just said made any sense to you at all. Well, I think me. <laughs> it does, it does. But I also think that what we did today, for example, you could call it just hanging out there, but I think we did a lot more than that correct me if I'm wrong or if it feels different for you and yes it feels different for this part yeah right like it sees what we did is just hanging out here right got it right you know yeah I know that more is happening in that space but it's just like she's looking hung out okay okay and we we also and we also envisioned a way for it to relax Mm -hmm. and made some tentative outline of of how to achieve that and how to and how to get what it wants which is for you to get past these protectors right yeah that's what it wants yeah exactly it wants the healing yeah It's, you know, I don't know why it has a sense that there's so many, I guess, because every time we do this, there is this kind of experience of a parade, but Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't really know that there's so many. (laughs) (laughs) I've had the exact experience when I talk to protectors and I say, what's the problem? And they have this laundry list that's a mile long. And then I get a little closer and I'm like, okay, really what's. Okay, it's really fine. just a couple of things. Yeah. It's like, okay, okay, I'll sit with your laundry list. Like, let's start at the top. And then there's three things. Yeah. Right. Uh, or less. And so, it feels like it feels yeah. like 10 parts go by when it's just a couple. Yeah. That are just very persistent. Very persistent, or they're very or they're not very well defined. You know, we're just used to uh, yeah. this icky feeling. And it's like, yeah, it feels like my whole body is on fire, but it's, it's one voice. It's one, you know, it feels like it's coming from every angle, but that mm-hmm. can be one part. Or it's hard yeah. to put in language. It's hard to put in one word. So because it's 
amorphous and we have trouble, you know, articulating it, that can be another reason why it just feels, feels like there's a lot more going on. Yeah. So we'll just have to see. That's right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hope we get to talk again. I know well, my we're calendars. scheduled. Are we? For the 25th. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks, James. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self-energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Ivan, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube. And they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there. And give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.